The Mike Show presents Test Drive Interviews Brought to you by Billy Craft Honda Old Forest Road in Lynchburg Hi, it's Mike And Katie Brooke And this is Test Drive Interview This vehicle that we have been uh, riding around in uh, is the uh, all new 2000 what? 18 Honda Accord 2.0T Touring. When you're driving, if you're going over the lines, it will vibrate the steering wheel and let you know that um, you're going over your line and veering out of the lane. It also has lane keeping assist that reads the lines in the road and will keep you in the lane. And then it has your forward collision warning. So if you're going 10 miles per hour faster than the object in front of you, it'll actually tell you to brake. It'll apply brake pressure and stop the car if needed. Katie <laughs> is doing the test driving at the moment. Fancy. What do you think of it? I love this car. It is so fancy, so techy. I'm so pushing buttons for driving. I know. I mean, look at that. <laughs> the air's coming through our seats. It's so comfy. Very refreshing. Very refreshing. A nice drive. This ride has been so smooth. So smooth. I mean, it is. It has been so. It has been. I have so much room back here. This has been the most comfortable drive I have had in a very long time, and I don't even have to drive. Thanks, <laughs> thanks, Jess. You're welcome. We are in a beautiful. Uh, as much as I like the station, uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna turn that down. We are in a beautiful downtown Lynchburg. Uh, and we're heading over to the Academy Center of the Arts. Uh, we're gonna pick up Jeff, uh, who's going to spill his guts. He's gonna tell us all about him, and the Academy, and downtown, all the secrets. There he is. Mm. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. This is like this is like nice. really neat. Nice. All right. This is so slick. I love that new that new car smell too. Yeah. Oh, I know. Mm. It's the best. Amazing. It's the well, best. Uh, Jeff, tell us about you. I really grew up here. My my father was a professor at Super Art College. He still is, and so I really grew up on the Super Art College campus. We we moved here when I was nine. Oh wow. Uh, from Missoula, Montana, after uh, wow. Los Angeles. So I, I've All been over. Virginia's home. A lot of people know you from End Station Theater. Mm -hmm. uh, that was uh, that was kind of your uh, was was it your theatrical break in or was it your your uh, executive director break in or how how did how did that work? Tell us about that. Yeah, so it, it was it was actually my second theater company. We were looking for rehearsal space and a place where we could create new work, and uh, we had a access to Sweet Park as my father. So we started developing work on the Super Art College campus in the summer months, and then we just decided to go ahead and make that a permanent home. Okay. And uh, started beginning, we started producing a festival out of there, and uh, and then eventually um, moved it to Lynchburg just recently. And so now they're at Randolph College now. Okay. And fast forward, uh, you uh, you get the call uh, to become the executive director of the Academy Center of the Arts. Uh, tell us about that transition. Yeah. So I had uh, I. I you know, I was the artistic director of Station and I and there's a lot of aspects of being an artistic director that do kind of cross over with being an executive director, but there are things that are different too. But I was finding when I was running that company that um, I started getting really involved in a national movement that's been happening, a creative placemaking movement. Okay. And uh, where really the idea is, is uh, you know, the, the uh, art of place, so that if you're creating work, um, or building work that it should be really tied really directly to your community. Uh, what's your what's your date uh, to open up the historic theater? Yeah, so it's it's uh, it's pretty far along now. It's um, I think the last time I heard a counter, it's like eighty percent um, complete. Nice. So um, so we're we're there for the most part in terms of uh, staying on schedule and and uh, we'll have soft opening activity in November and then we'll. We'll have a opening week of activities starting December 6th. What's the academy mean for downtown in terms of uh, act driving the economy? Yeah, yeah. It, I mean, these things are directly tied to each other. I mean, I think that if uh, if downtown hadn't some critical things hadn't happened down to downtown, like uh, bluff walk developments, yeah. um, I think a lot of 
uh, business owners taking a risk and coming downtown. I think if all of that hadn't happened, I don't, I don't think people would have had the same level of confidence in helping us complete the project. Um, and then in turn, we're part of the next step, right? I mean, we yeah. people believe in downtown now, and I think at a level they didn't, uh, you know, a few years ago. And uh, and now as we come in, we'll it's it's that next level, right? We, you know, we'll have. Um, you know, 180 nights out of the year, you know, there'll be activity happening uh, down in our facility. And so that, that means driving traffic down here. It means people are going to restaurants, they're visiting retail. Uh, they, they have a sense of, of uh, you know, the streets are safer. People feel, you know, people are out and about and walking yeah. around. So, so it's, uh, it's, it's really crucial. We, we both need each other. Turn the camera yeah. on the, yeah. let's look at that. You got the windows in. All the glass and everything is in. Yeah. That is tremendous. The place is going to be awesome. The, the lobby itself, it's, it's going to be all brand new. Um, you have you have a bar going in there. You have uh, just a really, really nice space. Yeah, it's, it's uh, you know, we're going to do um, free music uh, every Thursday after work, too, nice. there. And uh, kind of run drink specials out of the out of the concessions areas. Well, Jeff, we want to thank you so much for being oh, my pleasure. Our, our very very first uh, test drive interview. This is great. This um, is a beautiful car too. This, this is, is such a beautiful car. Yeah. Jeff, are you sure you don't want to drive it? Oh man, I'm telling you, I'm at one. I'm gonna go pick one up now. Okay, so we're sitting at my favorite light. <laughs> the longest light in Lynchburg. Lynchburg Expressway, Lakeside Drive, Old Forest Road. Coming back to the Honda store. You ever do donuts in the parking lot? No. No, <laughs> didn't think so. Billy Craft Honda. How much would you give me for the old van? <laughs> <laughs> well, we could do a trade appraisal right now. I'm Mike. sure. I'm sure you could. <laughs> it doesn't belong to me. <laughs> there we would have a problem. <laughs> All right. Well, this was a blast. Uh, we had a lot of fun. It was our first test drive interview. Uh, I want to thank Jess. Thanks. She and she uh, really did a great job showing us the vehicle. I want to thank Katie Brooke for uh, doing <laughs> for doing what she the did wave. and and uh, all the uh, all the videography and editing. Check our social media, The Mike Show VA on Facebook, also Instagram as well, The Mike Show VA. Uh, you can check us out on 93.7 KHF weekday mornings 6 to 9 and you can also check us out 24 7 365 on the radio 434 app it's a free download uh, check out all the different channels that we have on radio 434 including the Mike show channel 24 7 365 until next time see ya Bye.